It's not just soap operas that are making Turkey cool to the so-called conservative chic female market. The magazine Alla, in its debut year in 2011, immediately outsold all better-known rivals from Vogue to Marie Claire and Elle. So, what are the guidelines for conservative chic? This is the principle. We uh, should cover our body except our hands and foot and our face. We should cover all. Do you want the clothes to make women, Muslim women look attractive? No. We no. don't want to look attractive. <laughs> well, I've got to say, this to me yeah. does look attractive. These are attractive clothes, attractive women. Yeah. Um. <laughs> The average Allah reader says Ebru is well-educated and intelligent, just underserved by the conventional women's magazine market. We don't have only fashion in the magazine. Mm -hmm. We have some cultural events. Are they strong, assertive women, do you think? Uh, yes, I think. <laughs> This is a major football derby match in Istanbul, a men's game. And you might be thinking, hang on a minute, there's loads of women around here. But that's because grown men have been banned from attending. But in fact, it's actually quite appropriate, because with all the changes going on in Turkey at the moment, it's women who are pivotal to what's moving. Fact is, women in Turkey have always held influence. There are prominent women in business and politics. But Ibru says it's the combination of that and conservative chic that makes Middle Eastern women want to come to Turkey.